Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Learn Math with Mr. Saad for another video lesson. Today's lesson for grade 5, chapter 1, lesson 3, hands-on model fractions and decimals. Page number is 23. Uh, I hope all of you guys are ready with your books and pencils in hand. If not, please uh, stop this video and get ready and then resume it. Okay. Let's start the lesson. Fractions and decimals. Okay. Uh, you guys already took fractions and decimals in grade 4, chapter 10. Uh, if you guys forget something, you can revise. Uh, and uh, my videos are also available on YouTube on my channel Learn Math with Mr. Saad. You can check that videos also for revision. Okay. Uh, let me give you uh, a brief overview here. When we talk about fractions and decimals, it means that we don't have a complete number. Now. We are dividing the number. For example, this number. Oh, sorry. Uh, let me erase this. Okay, for example, this number, 1, it is a complete number, a whole number which is complete, one whole, a complete one, got it? Similarly, if I write 2, it means two complete things, whatever, like two apples, two pizzas, two bananas, whatever, okay, two complete things, but when I write fractions or decimals, that means it's not complete now. It's a part of a number. Fractions means some part of a number. Similarly, decimals. We represent the decimals with the decimals also. Okay. Now, let me show you here the first example. Okay. For example, I have one. This is one whole. I have complete. But when I want to write the fraction, now it means what? The denominator here, it is showing me that I divided this one whole, which I am showing here, this one whole into 10 parts 10 equal parts let us count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 so the denominator here shows that into how many parts we divided one whole got it now the numerator is showing us out of that 10 parts how many parts we have okay so how many parts are color three parts are color we always check from the numerator got it guys from the denominator we will check into how many parts we will divide here we divide it into 10 parts and from the numerator how many parts we will share or how many parts we have okay this is uh, how to write the fraction okay now we have to write this fraction into decimal they write it here 0 0.3 okay you guys know that uh, let me show you here the place values of the decimals or uh, if you guys forget that you can revise chapter 10 from grade 4 but let I will show you a small uh, overview here on the left side you have ones then you have tens right then you have hundreds right and hundreds then here thousand right okay you have ones tens hundred thousand on the right side after the decimal here the first place value is tens the, in the middle there is ones and decimal on both sides then we have tens hundreds and thousand ten hundred thousand then here we have more ten thousand uh, hundred thousand million like this okay uh, let me take the three only now okay here also we we have thousand also let me write it for you guys here
Okay. What is the difference between this tan and this one? Was see it. Uh, you can you have T H S and here no T H S. So we add T H S to differentiate this tan with this tan. Okay. So we read it as tenths with T H S tenths. This one is just ten, and this one tenths. Similarly. The difference between this hundred and this hundred ths hundreds ths okay similarly this one is thousand without ths and this one is thousands with ths okay so we add ths just to differentiate the numbers before the decimal and after the decimal the place values so after the decimal the first digit its place value is tenths then hundreds and the third one thousand okay why we call them tens and hundreds and thousand because let me show you the first one why we call them tens uh, let me show you on the first question here goes we have three out of how much ten that's why we call it three tenths here so when we read it in word form we call it three tenths and when we write it as decimal we write it 0 0.3 got it similarly we have nine now here again guys see now we have one let me choose the pencil one whole now this time we divided this one whole into 100 parts here from the dead denominator and out of 100 parts we have 9 only so we have 9 out of how much out of 100 so we call it 9 hundreds and we write it at the hundreds place value not at the tens place value because we have 9 out of 100 and we fill the tens place with the zero got it so the decimal is 0 0.09 we cannot write it like this 0 0.90 it is different thing it means again now nine tenths and zero hundreds got it and we just have nine hundreds no tenths so that's why we put zero so don't make this mistake we cannot write it 0 0.90 okay it will become nine tenths and we need nine hundredths so we will place nine at the hundredths place value got it guys okay so, but another thing here in this question above it is 0 0.3 but we can write it 0 0.30 or we can write it 0 0.300 got it why because it's the same thing this one is hundreds and this one is thousands okay the see guys we need three tens we have three in the tens place we don't need hundred so zero in the hundredth place we don't need thousand so zero in the thousand place all right write it so we can write it as 0 0.3 or 0 0.30 or 0 0.300 all are same thing i hope you guys understand this thing uh, video is getting longer now uh, longer than 10 minutes so i will continue in part two part one of lesson three ends here and wait for part two thank you so much guys have a nice day